Hello, my name is Beatrice Chimpy. You're welcome. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is The Boss Life, living life on your own terms. These are some of the eight income streams that are found to be very lucrative in this day and age. And if you are interested in listening and learning about them, please consider subscribing because more of such videos are coming on this channel. So consider subscribing and let's grow together. Well, uh, the first very one income stream, that is the earned money. What do I mean by earned money? You are watching me and you're still, uh, you know, working your eight to five job. So this is very, very good because this is the place for you to get your, you know, get your capital for further investment. So this uh, income stream is very good because uh, it is kind of safe. But then the, uh, the, the downfall to it, the disadvantage to it is the fact that you are being controlled by one person. Okay? You are not a boss of yourself. If this job goes uh, away right now, you remain jobless for quite a long time. You're depending on someone else. That is the disadvantage of this income stream. It's true you're going to get the money, but you can get you can lose this job anytime. The second thing uh, uh, about this job is that they are controlling your time. You're making little money in comparison to the time you're putting in. So those are the two disadvantages that are on this income stream that earned money. But it's okay. The solution is for you to make much of that money and then uh, later on move on into your own self-employment. Number two, uh, the income stream is the rental income. I've done several businesses around Kampala in town and uh, I did this for quite a long time and I'm still doing it. Rental income uh, here is you go and rent uh, like a shop or a house, okay, and then rent it out to someone else. Let me give an example. If our, a shop in town costs up around 400,000 shillings, all right, you can rent it. And for me, I began like I wanted my own shop. I I decided to partition to give other people to rent, uh, you know, some parts of the shop. So what happened was these people, by the time I collected all their money, let me say that the shop is like one, one, one room. And so when you partition it, like you have more like four people within, and even on the veranda, you have more people, uh, let me say, uh, doing mobile money, uh, doing, um, uh, selling any other things that they are selling. So like you have over five or six tenants. By the time you collect their money, you're able to uh, remove the money for rent for the general shop to the main, to the main landlord. Then you can remain with some money for you to save okay these tenants are at your mercy because they are, they cannot go to the uh, to the main landlord because you are their landlord because you're the owner of the shop the landlord knows you and so uh, a time reached when i had to get out of that shop and then i had to give my space that i was occupying to another person so what did that mean that all the tenants I used to come and collect money from them. And I've seen so many people in town doing this. When I just entered town, it was I wasn't uh, an owner of a shop. I was just partitioning to sell a few merchandise. And I was seeing the owner of the shop normally coming to pick rent. I got interested in knowing 
why is it that this lady comes and collects money but they say the company okay the owners of the building are different they told me she's the owner of the shop you can literally be a landlord all right and then rent out these spaces to people you can increase the rent as much as you want okay you can just say maybe uh let me say the shop costs one million but then you have around seven tenants mobile money lady in front is giving you 100 per month uh the phone uh lady is giving you 300 per month there's one who is taking a small space at 300 400 like at the end of the day you can get like two million from a shop and you have one million for yourself you know and then the other million you take to the main landlord and then people also do this in in houses in houses uh rental houses like someone goes and rents a, a room and pays the landlord money for like three months and then puts the room out for rent and then says maybe the room costs at around two hundred thousand, and then she, she or he says uh it's 250. well the 50 may look little ugandan shillings but it's better than nothing so that is rental income that is number two number three in the other streams of income is the business income business income this is the uh, the money that we get from making businesses companies whatever it is first of all when people think about businesses here in uganda i don't know why people i'll keep reckoning my country because this is where i've grown up from i know a lot of biases around money and then the biases around businesses people think that businesses are for people who have a lot of money when people think about businesses they think about going for uh, you know the large businesses that they see around them people undermine the small businesses that they are uh, that are around them okay if someone is working in a bank they want to set up a very huge you know boutique a very huge saloon and they live out on the small small investments that they can do so one of the uh, best streams of income is business income you get your money invested in a business the other income stream is the interest income what do i mean by interest income this is when you are uh, invest all right in like shares in uh in in treasury bills in uh um stocks and at the end of the day you get interest on your money the good thing about this interest our uh, business is because interest stream of uh, income is most of them you you remain with your capital it's intact uh, some people like these because they are safer as long as you get a legit company that you are investing in interest income is a very very good stream of income okay here in uganda there are so many places that you can buy shares so many legit places that you can uh, invest in uh, those kind of interest incomes and we shall be speaking more about them on this channel please consider subscribing like share comment and let's grow together the other stream of income that is very good is called the capital gains. What do I mean by this? This I've seen people do, right? And I've also done. You can be mostly, if you want to make money here in Uganda, by the way, before we go to the last, and you know the last uh, stream of income is my favorite, but before we go there, please consider living around people who make money people who are exchanging money all the time and here in uganda where best can you find such a place than in the middle of a town if you're listening to me on, on a podcast or you're, you're watching me right now please consider even if you don't have anything you're going to do in a town just go like in kampala in jinja in bara town go in the middle of the city and look at people how they talk money how they exchange money this is going to motivate you to make money so let's go back to what i was talking about i was talking about capital income all right you buy an asset at a very low price to sell it later when it has increased in price okay this is what they call capital gain 
you're, you, you put in very little capital. Let me give an example. Maybe you're investing in school bags. And at the moment, it's not time for going to school and people are selling off, you know, their merchandise or, you know, at a very, very, very cheap price. And then when it's time for going back to school, you know, parents are going to be buying bags. So you take back that bag to, a, to the price that it is. But for you, you're going to get a, a, a much bigger profit because you, you, you got those bags at a cheaper price some time back. Okay? And this applies to so many assets. It also applies to shares. People know how to buy shares when they are really at a low cost and later on gain a large amount of interest on them, all right, after, you know, they have gone really high and their interests are really high. You can look around you, look uh, through your your city where you're, you, you, you're working. What are some of those things that you can buy when they are at, at a low price? And later on, sell them just for you to get an up an award, uh, an interest that is not even equivalent to how much you bought it. Sometimes people end up getting 80% of an interest, you know, because they bought it at a very, very, very cheap price. The other stream of income that I want to talk about and is one of my favorites is dividends. This is when you buy shares into a company for you to get interest and grow with them. Like the company is there, they are selling off shares, then as they grow, they grow with you. If the interest increases on shares, it also increases with, like, uh, you, you're also a beneficiary. Dividends are very, very good. Their downfall is please invest in a company that is very legit, a company that will not fall out any time, a company that you will not look for their office and then they are nowhere to be seen. There are so many companies here in Uganda that you can invest in in terms of dividends. Please consider subscribing. More of such content is coming on this channel. Let's grow together. Then are the last and not the least one of my favorite business or stream of income is online businesses. If you know and you've lived in the era of COVID-19, this is, uh, that was the era, or maybe if some people are still affected by it, it is the time that people were, were enlightened, their eyes were opened onto online businesses. Many people were doing a lot of online business, but people were undermining it, thinking, how can someone, you know, uh, buy data only to come and look at your page, only to come and buy things? Well, things have gone digital. Please, Ugandans, wake up. Wake up. Whoever is watching me, please, Ever, wherever Africans wake up to this great opportunity while it lasts. Online businesses, online businesses are one of the things that are right now doing so great, doing amazingly. And on this channel, we shall be sharing so many of these online businesses that you can invest in and get money where you are remotely. All right, please consider subscribing. We are going to be putting up videos every day. Uh, every Monday and Friday okay so that's twice a week consider subscribing tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that there is a lady out there who is rooting for us who is giving us new info about what we didn't know if you've ever desired to live in a financial freedom state you're tired of the job you're at, you're tired of the long hours, you would want to have more time with your children, you would want to uh, spend more time with your family, you would want to work from home, you would want to multitask like you're doing an online business yet you're having also another business at home. Please, this is the channel for you. Welcome, welcome. You don't have to be in the place that you're at. You can make it, you can get out of poverty, it's just a twink of an eye so please welcome and continue subscribing uh, and then let's grow together till next time see you in my next video i'm bitches champion bye